So I promised myself that if I had to do this again, that I would document it because this has to be about more than just me. Like, I don't know that I can keep the right mental attitude if, if I'm not doing it for a greater purpose, right? So my hope is by documenting all of my experience through this second round of high dose chemotherapy, that it will help someone else. So how am I doing? I'm okay. <laughs> it sucks. But I'm not going to focus on that. Okay. So, um, y'all know that I had the exploratory surgery a week ago today. And we were looking for tumors. Um, because I kept having the wonky blood tests. And we knew that there were some tumors in there somewhere and we needed to find them. We didn't want to do any chemo until we had something that we could watch. Um, something that we knew what we were dealing with. Um, so, um, on that note, surgery was success. It was success. We found, um, we found four spots of concern. Um, two tumors, one on the left side and one on the right side of my abdomen. Um, higher up than where my ovaries used to be. And then we found um, several tiny spots on the bottom of my diaphragm. Now, um, we don't know how many there are on my diaphragm, but we know that they are tiny. They are micros. They're not, I mean, they're microscopic, but yeah, they're a little bit bigger than microscopic. You can see them with the camera, um, but they are too small to remove them. And even if we did remove them, there's no guarantee that we would get them all. Um, because there's probably ones that we can't see. And there are some that are beyond the horizon of the curve of my diaphragm um, from where the camera couldn't really see very well. Anyway, um, so high dose chemotherapy is the only solution or the solution. It's not the only solution. There are other solutions. Um, we could do the surgery, but most likely it would not be a long-term solution. Uh, we could do nothing and the cancer would continue to grow um, and make me sicker. And I am actually starting to feel it um, on my diaphragm. I can feel it underneath my root cage. So it needs to be dealt with. Um, there are four different types of chemo treatments that we are considering. Two of them will require that we bank my stem cells because the chemo will completely kill my bone marrow so that we can reinfuse them when the chemo is over. Sorry, I needed a minute. <sighs> okay, so now that we have this information, um, we have, we know what needs to be done. Now my doctor here in Colorado is getting in touch with my doctor in North Louisiana so that she can share all the information because um, with high dose chemo, I need, we're gonna need my support system and I gotta tell you guys, I have an amazing support system at home um, in North Louisiana. <sighs> and if it weren't for them, I would not be going back, but I need them. Um, so we're, we're going back. We are leaving on Sunday and we're going to 
head south and then hang a left in Mexico. <laughs> uh, my birthday is on Monday. I'll be 39. So we're going to uh, visit Carlsbad Caverns to celebrate. One of my favorites. Um, yeah, so that's that.